is ominous music. Also, so let's climb up the stairs. And the moon is in the background. With a cloud. That is ominous. So it's time to boomerang up. Where are all the enemies, though? It could be bad news. Especially since I'm at half life. I see a coffin. Is that coffin set for me? Nope, it could be something much worse. Oh my, it's him. And his lovely face. Dracula. Yes, and you must hit him in his head to do damage. But fortunately, you don't have to go through all of stage 5. Because this is technically stage 6. Even though it didn't show a map. So yes, it's the final showdown. Simon Belmont against Dracula. And now with full health, I might do a little bit better. But my choice in, as a kid was a boomerang against this guy. Holy War might be better. So hit him high, and hope he shoots high. Because you might be on drugs. You can destroy his fireballs, but it's rather tough. Destroy all three of them. And he tries to appear on you. That'll hurt you. And yes, he does four blocks of damage. So yes, four blocks and you're dead. Hey there, let's go ahead and skip ahead here. I went up a cake, doing a little bit of post-commentary against Dracula. And then how you want to beat him is with jumping attacks. Always jump towards him. Try to position yourself about one or a little more than one whip length ahead. You'll be able to jump over the fireballs and hopefully pop them in the head. But the main thing is to be patient. You don't want them here peering on you or suddenly make a wrong move and take a hit. Because four hits and you're dead. As long as you hit them with some part of your whip, it works. Thing is, the timing is very, very precise. Even if it does look like you are gonna get a hit on them, it doesn't. Best time to jump is about a millisecond right after he opens his cape. If you jump too early, he might aim too high. If you jump too late, the fireballs will get you. But you also want to save those holy waters. Assuming this is not your first time getting here. 13 hearts really isn't much to work with for what's coming up next. As you might be able to guess, it couldn't be this easy to beat Dracula, the King of Darkness. So what does happen when you finally beat him, took me a few tries here, is his head flies off. But far more importantly, his second form. And it is a horrific back demon. But if you hit him with the holy water, it will stun him. You still have to hit him in the head though, with your whip. You could probably hit him in the head as well with your holy water, but best to aim at his feet and then take two or three shots with your whip. And if he's starting to corn you, try to get under him. And with that, thank goodness, a whopping 50,000 points, and Dracula is finally defeated. And will never come up back again. Like I will never come back again because I have so many lives and well for some reason 
his castle grumbles. And all that delicious money is buried under the rubble. Attracted by trans fishers. And yes, there's a lot of pseudo names. Like Christopher G. Seriously. Must be some inside jokes. Because after all, who really names himself the Green Stranger? It makes no sense. And Mr. Belmondo, you played the greatest role in the story. And well, yeah. Very uneventful ending for a great game. And if you want, you can play again. But it does get a little tougher. Enemies start to move a little bit faster. And stuff does more damage. And they add stuff like bats. Look at how fast those zombies are moving. Look at how much damage those bats are doing. So if you feel like a true warrior, go through again and beat Dracula a second time. I, on the other hand, am saying if you ever do go to Transylvania, don't go inside big castles unless you have a really good reason to loot money. Remember, only loot money from the jerks though, otherwise I do not condone it. 